all right, I'm down here doing some metal detecting again. And my first signal is a penny. Not much, but a uh, good start. Oh, wait, that's a dime. Oh, that's a better start. It's like 10 pennies. Well, I got a little friend following me. And I just dug a quarter. Maybe good things to come. This guy's following every scoop I do. <laughs> These guys are kung, kung fu fighting. Well, uh, somebody was just asking me what I'm doing, so I thought I'd take a little break here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see Catalina Island out there. But it's out there. And you got the sun trying to set. And there's still a bunch of people. I think a bunch of people come down here to watch the sunset. And then as soon as it goes down, I'm going to start doing okay. I'm able to get some signals right along the edge, and then there's a deep hole. So if the tide goes down a little more to that hole, I'm hoping I can get in that hole. <laughs> but I grew up down here, and it seems like that hole seems to follow the tide back for some reason. Um, a lot of Corvina. As I'm digging, it actually swam up and got right by my, right by the tip of my detector. And oh yeah, also while I got you guys be here. Um, a lot of you have been asking me why, how come I'm not using the AT Pro? Well, the AT Pro doesn't do very good in the water, and that's where I like to hunt. The Garrett actually does really good in the water. The Garrett ATX, that's the one I'm using. That one actually does really good in the ocean water. Now, if I was in a lake, I'd use the other detector. That one's more for uh, coin shooting and. Um, other things that I'm going to be doing. Um, or if I was just going to do the dry, I might want to use that one. But I'm already really used to this thing. And it's mine now. I own it. That last step I sold, I was able to pay off Jordan and get this one. So this is a $2,000 detector. That's why I use it. That's not the only reason why. It goes really deep and it, it does really good along the edge here. I get no kind of weird signals. It adjusts itself, you know, it's, it's really nice. Um, so, I think from now on it's going to be dark shots if I find anything. I've only been finding coins, crusty pennies, in one quarter. Oh well. Alright, I just got my first piece of jewelry. A uh, diamond earring. Slow night, slow night. I'll take it. Alright, I just dug another earring. This one looks like it might be turquoise. I don't know, it looks awful blue. Silver looks good though. We'll see when I get home. Alright, I just got a small chain. Uh, probably just a junker, but we'll find out when I get home. Alright, I just found a key, like an old key. I can check that when I get home for sure. What the heck is that doing on the beach? I don't know. I'll show you guys when I get home. Well, I had to work for it, but I got a ring. Don't know if it's real. It says something on the inside, but I don't know if it's real or not. I mean, it's a real ring. We'll see when I get home. That's what I was trying to do. I get a ring and I got one. Thin, look. Not real thin, but it's thin. Alright, I'm going to get back to it. I don't know what this is, but diamonds all around it. I'll try to show it to you guys. I'm going to get a better light so. If 
future videos should be better. See the diamonds on there? See it when I get home. Well, I'm not sure what this is. It's gold looking. But I'll show you guys when I get home. Well, it's got another one. Another ring. I think it's stainless. It has words on it. Real shiny, so it's probably stainless. Little comfort fit. I'm going to get back to it. I'm running out of time. Tide's coming up. Alright, I got another ring. Another ring. It sounded really weird, but uh, I'll take it. By fake, but I'll take it. it might be a uh, silver. Here's another one. Uh, sure rang up like silver. But we'll see when we get home. I'm not sure what it is. I've seen these before though. Well, here's another ring. But I think it's just like a keychain ring. My light's dying too. Yeah, my light's dying. It's got a blob of stuff on it. Alright, I'm at home now. And, um, interesting hunt. Very, kind of weird, but, uh, wasn't getting many signals. Uh, when I first got there, I got that first penny in the dry. Everything else was from the wet. It was about 75 hits I got all together and this is all of them a uh, big clump I mean this isn't all of them but I have all of them big clump here um, you ran your basic junk all this like all this stuff I dig all targets I keep all the targets so I can show them to you guys and so I can get rid of, rid of them um, I like digging all the targets because you know what Somebody stepped on something like that. Oh man, that almost sticks in my finger just right there. That would be bad. And it's just good to get this stuff off the beach. Nice little piece of copper here. I don't know what it's from. Kind of weird. Anyways, enough of the junk. Now we'll go to the junk coins. We'll put them in the sunshine so we can see them. I got two quarters. One, two, three, six dimes, one nickel, didn't check the date, looks like seven pennies, and a handful of crusties. Most of the signals I was digging were just faint, I'd scan it, I just hear a faint sound, so you know I'm digging deep, so that's why I only got like 75 targets all together too, because some of the targets I spent like a lot of time on just to get them out of the ground, especially if they're in the water and they're deep. Um, Alright, on to the good stuff. I got another one of these rings. And it says Amber on it. Amber, I found your ring. Come get it. <laughs> Stainless steel. Uh, basically a junker. Here's an interesting one. Looks real old. Old school. Probably silver, but it's not marked and I don't think it rang up on my detector very good at, like silver does You know when you get silver, it just screams This one was kind of a I Can't even tell you what kind of sound it was making, but it was weird like I was getting a magnet or something uh, I got an earring Could be turquoise could be silver not marked Got another earring. I found these kind of before, a little fake diamond in them. I got this. It's got diamonds on it. Looks like there was a big giant diamond in the middle that's gone. I got this a little, I don't know what it is. Looked like gold out there. Still does, it has a little uh, pattern on the top of it. Got this chain. Junk. I got this key. It's just like a remake of an old key. 
And if you look at the top right there, it's it's rounded. So I'm thinking it was on a necklace or something. But it could be brass or possibly even copper. Then I got this ring here. This one turns out to be, it's like a toe ring. 925 silver. Woohoo, silver, yeah. <laughs> then, the big find of the day, yes. I believe it's 18 karat gold. And there's, a, there's two bands on there. One of the bands, I believe, is 12 karat um, rose gold. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is a different color. And I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure. I can't read the hallmark on the one, but I can read the hallmark on the other. And one's 18. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to tell you guys, I was having a real problem with this one. Um, it says somebody's name on the inside and a date, 2012 or something. Um, but I could, it had its two hallmarks on the outside here. On the one's on the edge of the, of the inside, but it's on the outside here. And one's on one of these bands. See how there's two bands there? And I couldn't figure out what it was. And I'm still probably not quite sure. But what happened is I found this coin also. And when I was just getting ready to film, I go, what kind of coin is that? It's an Egyptian coin. Pretty crazy, huh? It's a one pound. And I believe on the back side, there was a marking and it and it was the same type of writing that was on that ring so I go could it be Egyptian like Egypt ring from Egypt or whatever um, sure enough I looked online and uh, I looked up gold marks and I found it I found the mark that I saw on here and I couldn't really see the other one very good so I'm still not sure on it but um, so where was I so yeah I've, I figured it out I wasn't even sure if this was gold for all night I was just like what, what is this but it is gold um, oh yeah I kind of wrote on here like, that's kind of what the mark looked like so but I, I'm probably wrong. I mean, on the because I couldn't really see it that good. My loop is a very cheap loop. So it's a this one, and uh, it does 30 times. So, anyways, enough of that. I am so happy I got this ring. I don't even care if it's. I mean, what where it's from. I don't care where it's from, as long as it's gold very happy woohoo another ring start my collection over again yeah so anyways uh happy hunting for all you guys out there and girls and uh i hope you all can find a ring like that because that's a good one <laughs> all right i'm gonna go now and post this video i was gonna say a whole bunch of stuff this is what happens, I turn on the camera, I say this every time too. And I have all this stuff in my mind. Maybe if I sit here and think for a minute. Um, oh yeah, I was very patient on this hunt because I, I had to cover a lot of ground and I found two areas where I was getting signals. Uh, the first area, deep signals and crusty coins. This is, so I pretty much cleaned that out and then as the tide got a little lower I backtracked some of my spacing on spots that I spotted that looked good and sure enough I hit when I was getting all in the video you'll see I was getting this jewelry that jewelry you know the ring so just be patient and uh, look at your surroundings that's all I can tell you I don't want to give up too much information <laughs> all right
You guys take care.